Hello and welcome back to another Schultze Collective video. Today, I am so excited. We are bringing back the small business halls. Long awaited. But it's uh, been they've been asking. They they've have. Been asking. So we each did a little shopping from some amazing small black owned businesses. We wanted to celebrate Black History Month this month by supporting black entrepreneurship and getting some really amazing products that they are creating and selling online. And links to all these businesses are in the description if you want to support as well. Yes, and this is obviously Black History Month, so we wanna celebrate these lovely, lovely black folks. But just because it's February and this is the month to celebrate them, you can celebrate them all year round, baby, every day, all day. <laughs> I'm so excited to get to do another video like this, working on the small business hauls we've done in the past where some of my favorite videos to get to work on for the main channel. So to get to be in one feels like very exciting and I'm so stoked to get into it. So we each picked two small businesses and bought some goodies not only for ourselves, but for the other two. Yeah. So Jess, Ryan, and myself each filmed a little clip while we were doing our shopping. So let's go ahead and jump to that with our first business. So I have an order that I just placed here from Groupie Pajamas. They are a size inclusive sleepwear line with really cute and unique patterns and colors. And the owner of this small business, Carrington, is actually a viewer of the channel. She is part of our community here. So it was really cool to get connected with her. And she told me about her story of her battle with cancer and how, you know, cozy pajamas really provided her with a lot of comfort and security in that time and inspired her to create her own business and offer that for people of all sizes in really fun and whimsical prints. And that she absolutely absolutely has like shopping on the groupie pajamas website is so fun because everything is just bright and colorful and fun and cozy like it's just the best vibes at first i wanted to get the three of us all matching pajamas because like adult sleepover vibes so then i was like okay it's prob probably better to show a variety of you know different fits and options so i got us each a unique set but i think matching groupie pajamas for the whole team for our next girls night are absolutely in order so for jess i got the luxe palm dress. This just looks so cute. And the reviews mentioned how incredible this material felt. It's like silky soft, but with some stretch. The comfort and the quality of the piece, which I know is something that Jess always prioritizes in clothes. For Ryan, I picked the OMBW two-piece set. It was described as low maintenance luxury. And I think this is such a fun print. And I got the groovy short sleeve satin PJ set. How freaking cute is this print? So fun so whimsical and I thought this would be great for when I'm postpartum too since it's a button up top it'll be easy for breastfeeding and I think having something you know really fun and vibrant to wear during that time will hopefully help me feel more like myself again so I have some pajamas for all of us Ooh. I've actually been wanting some pajama sets to be honest I, I was like wanted to be like that girl I feel like it's giving reverse child when you're a child you love them there's a period where you're like, I'm just gonna wear sweats and a big t-shirt. And, like, yeah. and then, and then you, come you back. come back to adulthood and you're like, the only thing that makes me feel adult is a matching loungewear set at home. Yeah. And the prints on these, are, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it, but the prints on these are so fun. I'm so like so whimsical. So for Jess, oh, for oh. Ryan, <laughs> and for myself, and there's a note. Oh my gosh, okay, she says thank you. And that she also included a matching set for everyone. Oh. As a little, a little bonus. I when I looked in here, I'm like, oh, this is more than I bought. They have butterflies oh on them. Okay, that oh one's for God. Jess. So sweet. For me. For Ryan. Oh my God. <laughs> I think we should have a pillow fight. I think you're <laughs> right. Know, actually. <laughs> okay, let's start with our. Yes. Our first ones? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these feel so soft. Oh, I'm obsessed with this print. Oh no, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. When I mm -hmm. saw this print, I was like, this is Ryan's color palette. It, oh my God, it is. It oh, is. Aww. Love. Uh, these are my groovy pajama shorts. They feel incredible. Incredibly soft. Oh. oh my god, cute. Wait, oh, yes, yours is a dress. Love. Oh my god, I, these are all different. How cute. Guys, I know that you can't, like, you can't tell you're not here with us, but like, this is so airy and soft and like buttery. Imagine, like, if you chose to, shaving your legs and like putting this the on. Oh, yeah. I would simply pass away. Oh my this god. This is I like love the that. after and everything shower set. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, should we try these on? Yes. Ta da! Oh my god. 
How's the fit for everyone? Very good. I'm wearing a size large and I definitely would not go higher or lower. Like this is a perfect fit for oh, me. Oh good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it has pockets, which I love. Oh. Uh, not even a question. <laughs> and I feel like it's long enough. I feel like I would wear this around the house in the summer and be like so stoked because it feels cool to wear. Yes. yes. I am in a 2X and it fits perfect. I was a little nervous just because pregnancy. But even like when I pull this out, the buttons aren't pulling. It's nice and loose. I have plenty of room. I love the elastic tie waistband and it has pockets. Love that. <laughs> what oh, more yes, do you so want? Ooh. I am so excited about this set. I love the print. The fabric feels so soft. I feel like it's one of those things I'm going to reach for a lot mm -hmm. and feel really good when I put it on. I feel like these are cute and I would definitely like pack them for a sleepover. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super yes. fun for like a girl's night, a girl's trip. You yes. know what it's giving? Princess Diaries 2. The magic yep. surfing sleepover. Now I'm like, we need to have a sleepover in these and watch Princess Diaries. 100%. And build a giant slide in your house. Yes. You have stairs. I have you stairs. Have <laughs> what more do we need? <laughs> okay, now for the matching ones. I, I have I literally said when I was ordering these, I was like, we're gonna have to get matching groupie pajamas for the whole team. Like. Right. Well, now we know where to get them. Exactly. I'm, I'm obsessed with the butterflies. Love the color. I wanna put them on right now. I know, I'm like, I know. Let's, <laughs> let's just put them on because I'm so excited. And now, we match. Twins. <laughs> well, I, it's triplets. triplets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this feels really similar to the ones that I previously tried on, so I'm I'm loving it times two. Yeah, I agree. These are just great. Like so soft, so comfy, such a nice fabric, and uh, like a really fun, whimsical print, which is totally everything oh, yeah. on their website. Like there's just so so many things that just make you feel like ah, oh. yeah, <laughs> like a breath yes. of fresh air. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love pajamas. Um, Pajamas. Yeah, I feel like we're like a, a trio. <laughs> I was gonna say a quartet, but that's Triple. four. No math. So the first small business that immediately caught my eye was Catone. Catone is not only black owned, but it's queer owned. So I was immediately like, sign me up, <laughs> sign me up. So Catone is a handmade candle business. They not only have candles, but they also have planters, cross stitch patterns, and so much more. So one thing that I loved that the owner Jody Ann Morgan said on her website was, my body candles celebrate the human form in all its glory. Designed from a completely gender neutral perspective, there are no female or male candles here. Just candles celebrating the human form. If one resonates with you, it's the perfect fit, no matter the gender that might have been assigned. Enough said, honestly. Mic drop, hats off. So I think this is a perfect fit for all of us to grab something very special from. I think one thing that's very clear about this site is that it's body inclusive and it's all about body positivity and body neutrality. And like, if you've watched 10 seconds of any of Sierra's content, you know that that's like her thing. So with that, I feel like I definitely wanna get her a candle. Oh my God, they have a pregnant one. <gasps> I mean, obviously, Sierra won't be pregnant forever, but she's simply pregnant right now. Ah, oh, I love this. Okay, so this is the Durrell Plus Size Pregnant Candle. Durrell, named after Catone's founder, Jodi Ann Morgan's mother, is a fat pregnant body candle, complete with butt dimples, back rolls, and hand-painted gold stretch marks, hand-poured using soy, wax, and fragrance oils. Yes, I forgot to mention, all the candles on this website are soy candles. So keep that in mind if you have soy allergies, but also, I've heard that soy candles are like just better for you, like breathing wise in your home if you do decide to burn these. I'm obsessed with this. Like the first one on here, I think this is the, yeah, the color white. And I love the gold stretch marks. It's so beautiful. And I think for the scent, I'm gonna go with sandalwood because I feel like that's like the vibe. Oh my God. Sierra done. Okay, so for Jess, I feel like she has just like a calming presence. She literally makes me feel held anytime I'm around her, anytime I'm with her and I want to kind of give that back to her in a sense. And she recently moved into a new space and I figured that this would be a nice time to get her a housewarming gift. So I think I'm simply gonna have to get Jess a planter. So I see this planter here and it's called the Fanny Planter, which I absolutely love and it's on sale. Yes, it is. If you're a fan of our candles, but want more of a permanent eye-catching art, then this planter is exactly what you're looking for. Our popular fanny design has been reimagined for all the plant parents out there, complete with stretch marks and apron belly and butt dimples. The butt dimples are my favorite part of this whole situation, to be so honest. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. Oh my God. It also has heart-shaped drainage holes at the bottom of the planner because I love you, Jess. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the green one. Also, I feel like the green kind of goes with her aesthetic. If you guys watched the color analysis video we did last year, she's a fall girly, so I feel like the green kind of goes with the fall vibes. Okay, so as far as I go, I am a huge fan of 
body decor. I, in fact, have a few up here. I actually do have a candle that is shaped like a beautiful body, and I also have a perfume that is shaped as another beautiful body. So I'm a fan of the body decor. So this was an easy one for me. I'm also a huge fan of candles. Like, I can never have enough candles. If you ever want to give me a gift, candle might be your best bet, babes. So I am absolutely getting a candle. However, because I do already have, like, the top half silhouette going, I have two of those, I want to do the bottom half. This candle is called Thighs of Thunder Plus Size Leg Candle. Our original design legs candle is a celebration of thunder thighs, butt dimples, chubby ankles, and beautiful strong legs. A men. Yeah, I'm simply, this is so, <laughs> this is like the easiest one so far. I'm gonna get dark brown, of course like me. And I'm also gonna get sandalwood. I'm a big fan of that scent. Okay, so I think I finished shopping for all of us for the first business. I'm stoked for these to come in. I cannot wait to see how they decide to style them in their own homes. It's gonna be so cute. Uh, and we're all gonna kind of match. How cute. Okay, so this is my first business. This is from Catone. And honestly, this is giving home decor. Switching up the vibe a little Ooh. bit here. It smells good. <laughs> Just as soon as you open the package, totally. it's like as I was trying to find the gifts that I did actually purchase, there are so many other things in here. I think that the owner sent us some more goodies, so let me take a gander. Oh. Okay, oh, this is for me. Excuse me, <laughs> this is mine. This one's for Jessica. D this is I for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good now. Okay, Sierra. Thank you. And there's so many goodies in here. I'm like, should, I, should we open ours and then get into this? Sure, okay. sure, sure, sure. Okay. Jess, you go first. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, it's so cute. It's a planter. Oh. A naked planter. Yes. Oh, I, I love, love it. her. Feel this. Just just touch it a little. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Also the the um like the crevices, all of the <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, really feeling them. This is so cool. And I love like the body representation. Oh yeah. I love that every time I stare at this ass, I'm going to think of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Okay, you go next. Okay. And she's pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it smells yes, amazing. It's scented. Smell like sandalwood. Scented. Usually Ooh. they're not. Mm -hmm. Sandalwood. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Wowza. And it's giving like gold stretch marks mm -hmm. on the front. Yep. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. I was like, listen, obviously she won't be pregnant forever, but like, this is a moment. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll burn it after I'm done oh. being pregnant. Tea. Tea. Oh, when Great you, idea. When you take like the best bubble bath at whatever temperature you want, because when you're pregnant, you have to be careful oh about that. Oh my god, I'm gonna have it scalding hot. <laughs> this is gonna be melting <laughs> yeah. in the background. Oh my god, go Catone. Seriously. Oh my god. Seriously. Okay, now I have to see what you got. Okay, okay. I also too got a candle, but I got like the bottom half. Oh! Yeah. So unique. I don't, I'm simply never gonna burn this. It's just gonna sit in my house. I know. look cute. I'm like, as we're talking about this, I'm like, and as soon as we finish this video, I will be going on the website and seeing everything else. There's so much on there. Like they had more planters. They had other, like they have mm -hmm. different kinds of, also bodies too. They're very gender inclusive, like body positive. Like it's just, it's, I've never seen a store like this ever. So I was really, really impressed with the selection of things. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. But wait, there's more. There's more, oh yes. <laughs> Okay, let's all unbox something Ooh. because there is something for everyone. So we actually connected with Jody Ann, the owner of Catone on Instagram, and she let us know that she sent us some goodies from the Black Joy collection that is launching February 1st. So we are going to be opening these. So if you're interested, like Sierra said, there's links in the description. Oh. oh. Hello. That is gorgeous. gorgeous. Now look, I have a whole body now. <laughs> Oh. oh, with the flowers. I love that. That the detail, like seriously. I want to eat it. I, I want. To, I want to. But, but I, I want, want to. to. Okay, she's stunning. She's purple. Rachel. Lo <laughs> Rachel. Do I smell this one? Something smells I think different. So. Oh, she's giving fall. Oh, yeah. She's yes. giving cabin. Mm -hmm. it smells like grandma's Ooh. house, but in a good way. Like yeah. cedar and yes. cinnamon. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh, this is like a traditional candle in like a jar. Ugh. Uh. Oh my God, that smells good? so good. Yes. It's very like clean, yes. like a very clean scent. And those are like my favorite. Better than laundry, but like also maybe a little laundry. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Yeah, that smells good. Also, this is definitely like a mason jar I would like clean and reuse. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, it's adorable. Yeah. Ryan, these are amazing picks. I'm so glad that, because I didn't know about Catone before mm -hmm. this, and now I am a fan. I know. I feel like you'd be able to find something for everybody in your life. Yeah. But like unique. You know, I think that's like the thing too that's hard is we like, oh, we find this thing and maybe it's on like TikTok shop or it's on like Amazon or something, but like this is unique, small owned, black owned, like just really, really, really great products. Yeah, that you can't get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Totally. Zach and Zoe's Sweet Bee Farm is a family owned business. Uh, they got started in 2015 creating pure and raw honey. I think their products are unique and I love a hot beverage, so I was immediately super into it. It's a brother and sister team that want to help the environment, so they decided to begin selling honey that they harvested at their mom and dad's bee farm in New Jersey. I actually first heard about them like peripherally uh, through Shark Tank in 2021. They sold organic raw honey and a bunch of different flavors. Now they sell bee pollen, honeycomb, and also these like cute little tote bags. So I think right off the bat, this wildflower honey flavor would be perfect for Sierra because after a long 20 whatever filming day, she made Ryan Paloma and I these like really incredible grilled cheeses. It had thinly sliced apples. I forget what type of cheese, but it was incredible. And then of all things like honey, which is the thing that immediately I feel like was going to throw me off. And I wasn't expecting it to like be as good as it was, but it was the best grilled cheese of my entire life, and I still think about it fondly. So that is what I'm thinking about when I see this, and I can just imagine her using like this in one of those creations. Okay, so adding that to cart for Sierra. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so they have like honeycomb. Sierra is my charcuterie board queen. That girl loves a cheese board, and she loves it's like, you know, sampling them, trying them from different restaurants, like, seeing what's out there, but she also enjoys like making them when we have girls nights and other things. This could be a fun addition to that. So, so I think I will get her some of the wildflower honeycomb. And then, oh, okay. So they have a hot honey blend and that sounds right up Ryan's alley. Ryan is a hot honey girly. I feel like I've seen it in passing on menus, but I've never tried anything before with it until she told me about it. She made this like avocado toast with these chili flakes. I think it had an egg and it just was like mouthwatering immediately. Yeah, I think I think Ryan would use hot honey and it could be fun to try another brand. Ryan has also been on a bit of a beverage journey, which makes me want to like get her the matcha honey to try with all the matcha she's been experimenting with in her vlogs. But if she ends up liking this one, I definitely will be ordering some for myself because it sounds awesome and it's also very unique. I don't feel like I've seen that before. So the wildflower with ginger root honey honestly just sounds like so good and like a bright palette. I like to have a cup of tea at the end of the day and before bed and I don't know if it's just to like trick my brain into being like this is your cue to turn off so you can sleep or if it's just like cozy and enjoyable so I enjoy doing it but I it's usually a herbal tea and I really love the flavor of ginger but I've also never had it with honey before. Like I've had a ginger tea and put honey in it and I really like that. So I'm gonna add that to try and then this one I saw like immediately when the website loaded and it's been sitting in the back of my brain, but I'm also super interested in their creamed coffee honey. Like what is creamed honey? I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna add it to the cart now. I'm hoping it lives up to the hype I just built in my head about it because in my head it sounds delicious. Here is our honey delivery from Zach and Zoe. Ooh. I was not expecting to get food today. <laughs> right? I was not expecting this. But I'm not mad. Oh, never. <laughs> so Sierra. Thank you. Ryan. Oh, if this is honeycomb, honeycomb, I'm gonna scream. You need to do an ASMR honeycomb eating video. I am obsessed with honeycomb. Like Kenzie and I go to this one specific restaurant because they give honeycomb on their cheese board. Right. And then we ask for extra honeycomb. Right. But like, now you can do where it at are home. you gonna buy honeycomb? The internet. Yes, thank you. I think after we wrap today's video, I need to immediately go to Trader Joe's, get some cheeses, make a cheese board just so that this honeycomb can have its proper moment and I don't have to wait a moment longer. Okay, and I also have the raw honey wildflower. So that one's like, cause they have two that are more classic and that one is the one gathered in like the summer because it's, it's all like seasonal. And so that one's from all different types of flowers on their farm in the summer, which are like so cute. Ooh, so that's like the, what the bees pollen Mm -hmm. is so it's a little oh. different every time. Oh, oh that's so that. cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cheese board, brie grilled cheese, immediate need. Yes. <laughs> oh, I just took a little gander over here at what I have. And um, this one has cayenne pepper. It's a cayenne pepper blend. Mm -hmm. So it's giving spicy honey. Drizzle over guacamole. Hello? 
Say less. Just simply say less. Say less. It's, oh, stop. Stop. It's like, she's a fan. She watches, <laughs> she watches my vlog. I do. This one is raw honey wildflower with matcha. Well, I've been trying to get into matcha because that's like the thing to do yeah. when I've been having a hard time, but uh, this seems like the way to get into it. Like I really into it. I feel like it'll it. keep the matcha flavor you're trying to enjoy because I right. like matcha, but trying to sweeten matcha can be difficult when it's you're not hard. used to matcha. Right. Oh, so you right. can put it in the matcha as the sweetener. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's giving double the matcha. That like didn't even cross my mind, like matcha and honey, like yeah. together. No. That's so creative. So creative. Wow, I've I never wait. seen that before and I was like, I mean, she's on a matcha journey. I am. I am on my matcha journey. It's a journey. So I'm like so excited to try these. Thank you so much, Jen. I got myself a wildflower with ginger root because Yum. I drink tea, like a herbal caffeine tea, every night before bed because of ritual. Um, and I feel like this would be delicious because I almost always do a ginger tea. And then, I, again, I just like the matcha. Never seen it before. It's a creamed coffee one. So I'm really excited to see if this tastes good in coffee. And I also like enjoy black coffee. So I'm curious if I add this in, oh, if it will like- Oh, black coffee, yeah make it the way, because usually I'm adding creamer to make it sweeter. Right. right. Wow, I'm so excited. Are we gonna um, try these? Yeah. Because um, I would like to try these. Let's try some. <laughs> Let's go try some. Check out the cheese board I made featuring Zach and Zoe. Honeycomb. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> okay, so I'm making each of us oh, thank a you. little honeycomb thank and you. cheese cracker. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the debate, do I eat the whole cracker or do I bite it in half? I don't eat a whole half. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I just ate that right up. Mm. Oh, that just like elevates the cheese board. Totally. That's like not even next level. We're jumping like eight levels. Right. Also aesthetically, it's really good. Oh amazing. yeah. Jess also made a coffee to try her coffee honey. Ryan has a hot honey. Yes. Well. We're going to try these on some crackers. Do you have a certain <laughs> cheese that you want the hot honey with? Oh. Maybe we try the Parmesan. Mm -hmm. okay. That sounds yummy. Oh my. I know. <laughs> Let me just. Look at all the herbs. It's about to spill out, but it, honestly, it's worth it. Oh, look at that drizzle. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. Cheers. All right. Spicy honey. Cheers around two. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, I love that like kick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two for two on yes. the Zach and So honey. Tell us about the coffee. We're gonna give it a little stir. Do you guys wanna try it as it is? Yeah. Cheers yet again. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can see how this would be great in coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I taste it out in the wild, it tastes like honey. I'm like, mm -hmm. a little bit of coffee. Right. It tastes seriously different in the coffee, and it doesn't taste like honey. Oh. What's it giving? I don't know. I like it. Two for two. Well, three for three. What you can count now? <laughs> <laughs> The second business I ordered from for me and the girls is Noir X Apparel. I found them actually on TikTok and they have the most gorgeous handbags. Oh my gosh. I just know that Riot is gonna freak out over these. Like they're so stunning. So Noir X Apparel creates handcrafted luxury bags and accessories ranging from the sleek and simple to the fun and vibrant and using all vegan leathers and fabrics. As soon as I decided on this small business, I immediately started shopping for Ryan because so many of these bags just like scream her. I mean like dozens on this website that I feel like she would just style immaculately. They're so fun. After much deliberation, I ended up going with the Inferno Ombre mini bag. This color looks stunning. It's super unique and the reviews were amazing. I think this is such a fun statement bag for her. And then I also got this green fringe canvas bag for Jess. I thought this would be a great size for her for everyday use. She usually goes for more like medium to large size bags. And the style of this one felt very her with like the canvas, the fringe, the green on the top. I went back and forth for myself on the denim Beverly bag. Like how cute is this with the two-tone denim and the jet black Brua mini bag, which I ended up going with this one because it's giving like sleek elegance. And most of my handbags are like more casual everyday bags. So I thought this would be more unique in my closet. It's something I'm really excited to like dress up for events and date nights. And I, I actually didn't start 
stop there. I got one more bag. When I was shopping on the website, there were just so many fun pink and patterned ones that made me think of our missing 20 whatever link in this video. Paloma. If you didn't know, Ryan, Paloma, and I have a podcast called 20 Whatever, new episodes every Wednesday. And Jess is our powerhouse producer. So getting new RX handbags for all four of us sounded really special. I wanted to include Paloma. And oh my gosh, was it hard to choose. I, I ended up deciding on the pink croc mini bag for her. Even the inside of this is pink. Like, is this not giving Elle Woods? I, ha I had to get it for P. Who <laughs> wants... A new handbag. I do! <laughs> this is for Ryan. Thank you. This is for me. This is for Jess. Ooh, big boy. And we actually have an extra here. So being that we have almost all of 20 whatever in this video, yes. just missing our lovely co-host Paloma, I thought it would be fun for us all to have Noir X apparel bags. So I got one for Paloma. That is Aww. so sweet. We'll open ours first. Yes. And then uh, we'll take a little, a little peek we'll at what Pete's getting. Peek, yeah. <laughs> Should we all open together? Yeah. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Ooh, Comes how? with a nice little dust we'll bag. Stop, stop. We're done. And we're done. Cut the cameras. <laughs> oh my God. This bag just felt so Ryan, so like strutting down the street of LA. And she is, she is. <laughs> Loving this canvas moment here. What is this? <laughs> It's, it's like the in-between of a tote, but with a person who has any actual formed style, which I don't, <laughs> so I love this. I thought this would be like a good size everyday bag for you. It is. So it's a little bit bigger, but it's not like quite like a, a tote, a shoulder bag. But it's structured. <laughs> yes. Like, like it's giving tote, but it it's is. giving structure. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, okay, everybody needs a little cute black yes. bag. I got myself a little fancy going out bag. So cute. Most of my handbags are more casual. Mm -hmm. So I was like, this is, so, it, it's just so like elevated. Yes. yes. I also love that they stand up. I love how they yep. have feet at the bottom. That is like my least favorite thing about a bag is if I set it down and it just falls over. Right. I hate that. Everything love spills this. out. These bags feel incredibly high quality. Absolutely. Like this is giving, I went to a high-end store and yes. bought this bag. So this is a staple. Yes. This is the outfit actually. Exactly. And they have so many bags like that. Like they have more neutral ones, but also just like the colors, the prints, the patterns. So unique, so creative. And let me show you guys what I picked for P. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Do you think Bruiser would fit in here? We'll Speaking of Bruiser, where's L? Oh, okay. <laughs> I can take a quick guess. <laughs> this we love a pink bag. Is for P. Die. She's gonna die. Gonna die. We're gonna give this to her on the podcast. Yes, genuine reaction. She's gonna freak out. Oh. So we'll put some footage of that here. And if you wanna see the whole thing of P's reaction and unboxing, that is gonna be in this week's episode of 20 Whatever, which should already be live when this video goes live. So there's a link in the description if you wanna check it out. And please subscribe to 20 Whatever because yes. we, j we just have, we have, a, we have the a best time. Great time. <laughs> if you wanna see more of this plus another one, <laughs> Please subscribe. And like love it. 10 times the unhinged. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will say, if you do go over, please comment a little purse so I know you came from the main yes. channel. Oh, please. Yes. A little pink purse. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next small business that I went with is called Cute Creations, both spelled with a K and a Z at the end. And first of all, it's, it's all jewelry, okay? It's jewelry, it's accessories, and if you know me, that's my bread and butter. And I just feel like I'm always on the hunt for some really good pieces. So the owner Kalea wrote on her website, I was so over panicking whenever I got my jewelry wet because I knew within the next morning it would be brown or even green. Sometimes I even forgot to take it off before I got in the shower. I wanted to upgrade my jewelry collection, but I was absolutely not down with paying $80 for one pair of hoops, period. So I decided to create KK, Cute Creations, for the girls, guys, theys, and thems who want high grade, tarnish free, water resistant jewelry without burning the bank. We love the inclusion and we love saving a little coin, so. And one thing that stood out to me the most about Cute Creations was that all of their jewelry is gold filled. Gold filled is the second type of gold plating that has the thickest layer of gold, first being solid gold. Typically, gold filled has a base metal such as brass, gold alloy, or even copper. Our jewelry has a base metal of gold alloy and brass. Our jewelry is also lead and nickel free, so it's hypoallergenic and suitable for sensitive skin. I don't think I've mentioned this on this channel before, but I have like extreme eczema and I can't just wear anything. I also know that Jess has sensitive skin as well. So 
I feel like this is literally perfect. Also, who wants your jewelry to tarnish? That's like so not the tea when you buy something like gold jewelry and then you wear it and the next day your neck is green. Not cute at all. I also just feel like jewelry is like a really nice gift to give to your friends, obviously family, loved ones. It just kind of feels like you thought a little bit more about them and that you're giving them something that they would actually use. Cute Creations is owned by Kalea, who is a Florida-based aspiring influencer, so we have to support a fellow baddie. Okay, so normally I would shop for others first, but on the homepage, just immediately on the homepage, caught my eye. I saw this gorgeous gold cross necklace. I don't have any necklace that looks even remotely close to this and I'm just obsessed. Like I need it, I simply need it. This one's called the Oval Cubic Zircronia. Girl, I don't know about that word, but something cross necklace and it's gorgeous. Yeah, add to cart, simply I'm getting it immediately. That was easy. <laughs> that one was really easy because I immediately saw it and I was like, I need it now. And they also have multicolor. Damn, should I get that one too? Okay, it's not about me, it's not about me. Maybe next time. <laughs> I saw a few things when I was looking through the necklaces that I wanna peep one more time. Oh, okay. So I saw these angel number necklaces and I immediately thought of Jess because we've like bonded over, you know, like our spirituality and like manifesting and stuff like that. And we've talked about that a lot and I feel like she would totally just like appreciate an angel number necklace. I'm definitely thinking the 444 one because basically if you don't know angel numbers, 444 is like essentially letting you know that you're like in the right place at the right time, you're on the right path. And I feel like last year and this year, Jess has just like blossomed into this like powerhouse, like amazing woman that she's always been, but I feel like she's just like really found her voice. And I just feel like she is simply on the right path and just like doing the right thing. So I think 444 is gonna be the one I'm gonna get for her. So add to cart. Okay, now Miss Sierra, I feel like she's gonna be a little bit harder because she doesn't wear a ton of jewelry, but when she does, she just like really steps out and it's like so cute. So I just feel like I don't wanna give her something that she's not gonna feel drawn to wear. Like I don't want it to be too much because I want her to feel like it could be an everyday piece or a staple piece, but just something that she will gravitate towards. Ooh, this initial one is cute. I feel like everybody has like at one point in their life or another have like an initial necklace or like a nameplate or something like that. I don't see Sierra wearing a nameplate, but I feel like I could see her wearing an initial. S for Sierra, S for Schultzy. S for Steven. Lock it in, final answer, okay. And for the new year, all necklaces and bracelets will be a mix and match BOGO 50% off. So one of these is gonna be 50% off. <laughs> we'll love that. I'm so excited for everything to get in. This is like so fun. You know, I think it's important to support black businesses and black people every single day outside of February, the shortest month of the year, might I add. That's neither here nor there. So I cannot wait to do a little gift exchange with the girls and see what other businesses that they are supporting and add some more black businesses to my own roster and I hope you can as well. So I got jewelry for everybody, which, okay, sometimes picking out jewelry for people can be a little hit or miss, but I feel like personally, I did a good job. <laughs> I love jewelry as a gift because picking out jewelry is like not my forte. Like I feel like mm. I either don't wear any or I just wear like the same two necklaces. Right. It's not that I don't want to. It's just like, like today yeah. I'm like, I feel like my neckline is bare. It needs something. Oh. But what? Oh. Perhaps this. Perhaps, <laughs> maybe. So this is from Cute Creations. So please go ahead and dive in. They have mm -hmm. necklaces, bracelets, anklets, rings, like all of it. Oh. oh. My gosh, beautiful little S pendant. Oh. I, this is gonna be like an everyday necklace. Like this is, this That's is- what gonna, I was hoping. Yeah, I love <laughs> Please, it. Go, Jess, go, Jess. I love this. What does it say? It says 444. 444, four, 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 angel four, number. Four. Because we've talked about like, you know, the witchy stuff, the manifestation stuff. And I was like, this is just very right up our alley. I love this. And also this is now in my new color palette, which I have no jewelry in gold. Oh. So thank you, thank you. I love it. I'm gonna put it on right now. Yes. Please. Please show me what you got. I saw this. I've been looking for a statement necklace and I saw this on the front page. Like I didn't even Ooh. search. I was like, oh, there it is, add to cart immediately. I love that these are gold plated too. <laughs> So it's not yes. gonna irritate the skin. Yep, I know we're quality. sensitive, we sensitive skin girlies. We've got allergies around here. So. Thank you, cute creation. Love, their website is gorgeous. Please go check it out. Okay, a week later since filming this video and I just had to throw this update in because I have worn my cute little cute creations initial necklace 
literally every single day since we filmed. It's just like my perfect casual everyday necklace. It goes with everything. I am obsessed and I'm so glad I have it. So thank you so much, Ryan and Cute Creations. You hit it out of the park. Pretty Honest Scandals is owned by Andrea Bertrand and is based out of North Carolina, which is where I'm from. So that's exciting. Uh, they produce clean, high quality, long lasting handmade soy candles with the goal of making candles that truly fill your home with scent instead of barely filling a room. Their candles are slow burning, clean burning, and biodegradable. Honestly, I'm a little overwhelmed. Uh, there's a lot of options. First thing to catch my eye is this Air Jordan 1 sneaker. Honestly, it's kind of nostalgic because it, it reminds me of the pair of sneakers that Ryan wore when we shot all the photos for the 20 whatever launch. Just a really beautiful pair of sneakers and I remember she was so excited when we, you know, when they came into the office and she felt really good wearing them. So not only does this make me think of Ryan, but also the scent profile notes is something I would in, like think she would enjoy having in her home. I feel like she has a really good sense of Mel. Her perfumes are always on point. She knows how to layer. She's taught me a lot. I know she's a big fan of a lot of vanilla. So that's like where I think I'd immediately go. Hi, Violet. This is my cat. You're gonna help me shop for Ryan. So the note profiles for this include patchouli leaf, sandal tree, redwood forest, amber glow, and musk, which sounds really cozy. So this is their black sea soy candle, which I think sounds like a good option for Sierra because the <laughs> packaging is cute. And I think the scent profile is something she would enjoy. Uh, it contains citrus, sea salt, plum, amber, and dark musk. I know she likes a musk in a candle. And she also, she's just a big candle girly. She has a little cabinet of candles. She's also one of those people who seasonally swaps out their candles uh, at the house and at the office. I don't think I know anyone who like loves a candle like Sierra loves a candle. So I'm gonna get that for her to try. For me, I personally, I really, just based off of vibes, I really like their peach and amber soy candle. Uh, the scent notes for this one are not what I would normally go for in a candle. Normally I'm running to like whatever is cozy sweater fall. Like this is a candle from Target I buy every year because I love it and it smells like fall and I light it when I want something to be cozy. But yeah, so I've been buying that candle for nine years. So I'm like, I'm excited to try something new because if I love something, I will continue to buy it forever. Okay, last but not least, I'm really excited to get into it because they have these like body candles, which are, are really cool. I know that a lot of the time, like I know that they are more decor focused, they're unscented, but they also, uh, you can burn them. They're not just for display purposes. Like you can burn them if you want. Pretty Honest Candles seems to have these, the body candles in a variety of body types. They have them in a variety of skin tones. I'm personally really drawn to the pastel goddess candles because then I can get them in everyone's favorite colors. So for Sierra, I think I'm gonna get hers in blue. They have this like Demeter. So they're based off, you know, Greek goddesses. Uh, this Demeter candle. Demeter's pregnant, Sierra's pregnant. I think it's cute, so let's add that. And then for Ryan, I'm gonna go with the NYX candle in this like bright, it's almost kind of like a desaturated lime green. I think that it would be a vibe. And then I think I'm gonna do the Hestia in purple because like Rachel, I am also a purple person. A stand purple, uh, we're gonna get in purple, add to cart. So, candles. Candles. Ooh, candles. You can never have too many. So these are just so beautifully wrapped. Um, we're gonna play a fun little game where I will tell you if you open the correct one. Cause I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> deal or no deal? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> That's definitely yours. That's absolutely mine. Oh, please. Uh, right, indeed, correct. We love some Nikes. Oh, yum, mm -hmm. yum. Oh my God, that's Ooh. cute. And mine is the scent Black Sea. It's a 50 hour burn time. That's a lot, and especially for this size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're all like soy wax, which means that they're safe to burn around pets and other things. So they're all dog and cat safe. I love that there is yeah. a speaker on this. This is just like oh. the freshest, like coastal scent. Like yeah. it has that little bit of like briny sea air, mm -hmm. but very like fresh and clean. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's just amazing. Mm -hmm. So I wanted something to light when I'm like cleaning or resetting my space. So I tried this peach and amber. If it, it smells like clean laundry, new car. It absolutely does. A productivity candle. Yes, Lovely. exactly that. Okay, so these are the ones I will tell you if you open the right one. Okay, we're playing um, the game again. We are playing the game. Sierra's is blue, Ryan's is green. Mine is purple. Oh, I think I have purple. I have green. Oh, oh, there we go. Listen. Wow. <laughs> we love a body. I know. <gasps> and it's pregnant. Oh my God. Not oh my gosh. Like, 
Great minds. So these ones aren't scented. These are, you can burn them. Um, or they're mostly for decor. And I thought they were like perfect for like an office or just, yep. I know so much of the channel is like body positivity and confidence. And I felt like that looking at these. I was like, they're so cute. They, they are. are so cute. Thanks Jess. Thank you Jess. Thank I you love too. these. I'm obsessed. This is actually necessary. <laughs> I did actually need this. I know. <laughs> Wow, I am like so stoked about all these products. This is just such a fun video to make. I know. And I had so much fun doing the shopping and even more fun doing the unboxing. Yes. And it's only gonna continue as I get to like try and use all these things. Yeah, yeah. I am I feel like I can just add these to my list of black businesses that I already mm -hmm. support. And if I'm ever looking for a gift for anybody, like. I am going down that list and I'm picking from these for sure. Yes. Once you find a company you really like, small business or not, you tend to shop there forever and I'm glad that we liked all of these so much because I definitely will be continuing to shop. So if you want to support and celebrate some black owned businesses this month and beyond, please check out the links in the description. I'm also going to link some of the past black owned businesses that I featured on the channel. And I would love if you guys want to comment your favorite small black owned businesses and we can just Keep the party going. Yes. And to support some more black owned businesses, you can follow me on Instagram and also <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Thank you. <laughs> and if you're not like really on in Black History Month, that's rude. <laughs> it's rude. So just do yourself a favor, head on over to my channel and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> and with that, thank you so much for watching. Support black owned businesses. Subscribe to Ryan Christina and the Schultze Collective, but mostly Ryan Christina, right. and uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.